Everybody, I've been lucky enough to grab Gene Winfield here with me. He's got some time right. with us, and look, we are here. The reactor, everyone. So, okay. Gene, thank you so much for doing this with me. You're welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. You've been around cars all your life. Yes. yes now, this is the question I'm going to ask you. When do you remember when it was that you absolutely fell in love, and with what car? What, what was your car? first car that you fell in love with? This one. This one. This one. My reactor. <laughs> the reactor. Now, what inspired you to make this? Well, I, uh, I first I drew a sketch, okay. a rough sketch, and then I had an artist draw a nice rendering. So that I said, that's it. I want to build it. Yeah. So I, I built it for a customer. So you built it for a customer, and then later I bought it back from him. I, a year I love so that, late. and I've heard that before. Because it was so good, you absolutely loved it, yes. and then you regretted selling it. Yes. How were you able to go back and buy it? And they gave it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I talked them into it, and I bought it back, and, and I, I've had it for 10 years or more now. Wow. And I love it. I know this from, like, even the animated version of Bewitched. We can see the car as well. So yes. it's, I mean, it's it absolutely awesome. Star Trek and Bewitched and, and several other commercials and yep. things like that. Now, are you able to open this? What? Are we able to open the car? No, the battery is disconnected. Okay, so the battery is disconnected, and I how would it normally open if you need batteries? The, the top comes up like this. That's what I thought. And then the doors come up on an angle. Wow. Right here, like this. Both sides, both doors. Absolute legend. Yeah. You're an absolute genius. I mean, the stuff that you have Thank done, you. your creativity, your mind, um, for people out there who are building, and I know a lot of people on my channel are constantly building and they're making custom cars. Yes. What is some words that you can tell them to inspire them? Well, whatever it is, when they start, make sure they follow through. Even though it gets hard and they, they think that they're up against a problem, you know, work it out and just keep going and finish it. That's Every good time, words. Every time, finish it. Finish it. That's good words. And I know you guys are so dedicated. You know, people are spending 10 years, 12 years, 15 years doesn't and matter. finishing the car, but it's the patience game, isn't it? That's right. It's a patience game. You gotta wow. do it. Absolutely love this. What else have you got here from your builds? Is this the only one here today? The only car I have here, yes. Okay. Yeah, they brought it in for the show. And how long did it take you to do the reactor? Uh, about eight or nine months. Only about eight, eight or, or nine months? Yeah. I eight. thought you were gonna say years. No, no. Oh, eight or nine months. And I, wow. and I, and I gas welded everything. It's all. All hand gas welded. There's no, no uh, TIG welding or anything on it. Can you tell me what do you mean by gas welding? Well, it's a acetylene oxygen torch. See, it's torch torch welding, and um, that yeah. that softens the metal, and then you're able to mold yes, it. Yes, it, it, it's a it's a it's a torch. So you heat up the metal to a certain temperature, and then you can weld it, and it wow. works works fine. Wow. See, the other type of welding is done with what they call heliarc. You know, heliarc is a different uh, process and uh, it's very nice and very pretty, And uh, but it's it's just a different kind of thing. So I, I use the old style. The old style. The old, old style school. gas welding. Well, look how well you did. Yeah, thank you. And it's, what about the colors? What, why did you come up with these colors? Well, I wanted it to be radical and uh, so I painted it a uh, gold metal flake and then tinted it with green along the bottom. I faded the green up from the bottom and the green around the edges a little bit to, uh, to make it look pretty. Well, it definitely looks pretty, sir, but I absolutely love what you've done here. Yes. Look, look at this, everybody. I mean, to see the reactor, <laughs> it's something else, honestly. Thank it's, you. It's just brilliant. And the top as well. Yes. You, you would think it's actually very small, and, um, but it goes deep in, doesn't it? Yes, and look at the steering. I, I've been looking at the steering wheel. I'm going to go on the other side and show you guys okay. the steering. All right. <laughs> we'll go over there. Look at this. Look at the back of this. Okay, tell me about the steering wheel. Well, it's called twist wrist steering. Okay. So you have two handles and then you turn it, you turn it like this to steer it. See, so and you just want it to be different. That's it. That's exactly right. <laughs> See, you know, back in the day when I built this, uh, I, I was a builder in, uh, in Modesto, California, and I wanted to outdo the other builders. 
So each of us was building a car yep. to outdo the other one. And so this is my my version and, and I outdid him. You did outdid him, sir. Yeah. You know, it's all about being different. How yes. can your car stand out from the rest of them? That's exactly right. And, and look, look at the ingenuity behind this. Look at it. Yes. And I absolutely love the wood. And that wood is original as well. I mean, how yeah. old would this car be now? When did you finish the build? Uh, I think 64. 64. 64. 64, wow. Yeah, and so you've... Uh, you have the shifter and then yeah. you switches. You have tail lights and, and the tail lights are sequential. They blink across. You know, they blink nice. across. Nice. Uh, now that's very forward thinking on your part yes. because and nowadays the tail lights are doing that where they are and, blinking. Uh, come here and look. Uh, <laughs> The, the headlights are behind that door. Okay. And so when you turn on the headlights, the door opens and the headlight rolls out and turns on. Wow. All automatic. Wow. Yeah, right here. Thank you. Very advanced, sir. Just look at this angle, everybody. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, Gene. And I see the hood. Yeah, that's the hood. It, it opens by power. And then I wish I could open for you, but they have the batteries disconnected in the show. Fair enough. Anyway, it's a, the engine is, you know, chrome plated. What is the engine? It's a it's a Corvair. Okay. Now a Corvair engine is usually in the back. Yes. Of a car. Well, this one's in the front. It's a front wheel drive Corvair. And what is the benefit of having it at the front? Oh, just uh, just novelty. Novelty. Just being fun. different. Being different. Being that's different again. Exactly. That's what I do. <laughs> you know. Different. The other thing, Gene, I love about this is the windshield. It's, yes. it, it's a one-piece windshield? Yes, it is. Wow. Yes. Wow. And it, uh, it has to be, uh, they have to heat it up in a big oven, you know, a big oven, and then drape it around a mold. Wow. So I have a mold for the windshield, and the mold is a little bigger, so they can clamp it around the edge. See, so wow. I mold it and clamp it around the edge, let it cool, and then I trim it, and grind it, and polish it, and very very fine work yes very very fine work sir thank you and i absolutely love the fact that it is a one piece because it just gives it that futuristic that's right that exactly. sci-fi that sci-fi look you know that's, that's exactly what i want and the fins the fins in the back is just yes i put the fins on it just for fun what about here what have you got here behind the front well fenders? that's a that's air air intake the air goes in here for the motor See if the air goes in there and goes around for the motor. Wow. To cool off the motor. And is it on both sides? Yes, both sides. Wow. And so, what about the chassis? What chassis did you use? Well, it's uh, mostly a Citron chassis okay. from France. See, I used the, the platform of a Citron and then built the body up around that. Is that because back then they used to have, in France, it was a lot more popular with the three-wheeler cars? Yes. And the, the, so the chassis was smaller? It had, it had the front-wheel drive. So I put the Corvair engine to the front wheel drive of the Citroën. Wow. Wow, this is just... Look at this. <laughs> I made made the wheels. You made the wheels yourself? Yes, yes. The wheels are very, very unique. And I, I made the centers and welded them together. After they were chrome plated, I welded them together on the wheels. Wow. Reactor. Reactor. The name of the car. <laughs> I should have. This, this little book, the whole book is about the car. Wow. So, people, if you are interested in getting that book, where would be the best place to purchase they, the reactor? They, they call me or write to me and I send them a book. The website is go. Winfield's with an S. Winfield's Custom Shop. Winfield's Custom Shop. Okay, yes. I'll try and put that in the description as well, everybody, because great. this book right here, let's give everyone a sneak peek. Look at that. So this is the build. Yes, see, this is a wood construction. See, it's called a wood mock-up. So we make this out of wood, and then I make the panels to fit the wood, and then weld them together. So each panel is made and fitted to the, to the mock-up. Wow. It takes a lot of work. Wow. Yes. This is amazing that you've been put, able to put this in a book to inspire other builders who are out there trying to yeah. be different. 
yes. to get ideas. This was Johnny Green and the Green Men. He had a, a band. It was very nice. Oh. <laughs> and this was a rock band from the 70s. Different, different color. See, I painted a different color. And then later we had an accident and I went back to the lime color again. But so, was, Gene, did you drive this around? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. I drove it in Beverly Hills, right down Wilshire Boulevard. In there you go. Beverly Everybody Hills. would have known exactly what it was. They yeah, were driving it before the body was finished. Wow. See, that's very good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, that girl. That was Modesto, California. From Star Trek? That's, see, is that... this, this shows the doors, how they open oh, yeah. on an angle, and the hood is open. Wow. More pictures. This was uh, out on the beach, Malibu. This is a Camaro that I painted for a show. You've done the you've done the entire thing yourself, haven't you? The yes. build, the paint. Yes. And this is my ex-wife in, in this picture here. And this was her girlfriend. Beautiful, absolutely brilliant, Jean. Thank I you. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're having a great absolute time. inspiration. Thank you. All right, we got to do go to the pinup contest. Okay. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed meeting Jean Winfield with me. Absolutely brilliant man. What we're going to do now is go down and have a look at the pin-up contest that's happening. And I need to find Jean because he's got, still got my mic on him. <laughs> but they also have got the demolition derby which is happening tonight and it's probably happening now as well. But we're going to make our way down to the pin-up contest. I've been 16 years old, a long time. which is about 58 years, so I've been doing it a wow. long time. And you love it. You I absolutely love it. Love I, it. I have uh, eight cars that shoot fire. Nice. And, uh, well, we're gonna, hopefully we're going to get a chance to see some of that. Two times it's happening today, yes. afternoon and in the evening as well, because the show doesn't finish until 10 p.m. tonight. Yes, right. Now, that's unusual, because I've been going to the car shows for a while now, and it's usually 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, they wrap up. Yep. But these guys are here until 10 p.m., because there's just so much happening. Yes. All right, right. we're going to catch some of that on film as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Shaboom. Thank you. Thank you. Kicking at 95, that's just brilliant. Love it. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit so I can see. 
the girls for the pin-up contest because the, the clothes